The fast has both an external aspect, we could call it the body of the fast, as well as an internal aspect, which we could call the heart or the soul of the fast. And as a human being cannot exist without both body and soul, the fast does not become a reality unless we combine the outer custom, the outer tradition, the outer rituals with the soul, the goal of Ramadan, this fast. So it is very important that we stop and reflect and ensure that the goal, the soul of Ramadan is being worked on, is being fed, is being put in its correct place. And as the soul is most important to the body, we can say in, in a sense that our essence is the soul. We can lose an arm, we can lose a leg, but we're still here. So the essence, our essence is not the body. Our essence is the soul. So similarly, in the case of Ramadan, it is important for us to keep that foundation on which everything else is built, which makes all of the various rituals of the fast meaningful, which gives them the ability to change, to help us to change psychologically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. So we do need to remember the most primary goal as identified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Not the consequence of philosophical reflection, but the clear message which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us when he spoke about fasting. Clear, direct. Not requiring in any way questioning or searching, researching, digging, it's straight. The religion of Islam is clear. As Prophet Muhammad sallallahu had said, Taraktukum ala mahajjatin bayda. I've left you on a clear white plain. Leiluha kanahariha, whose night is like its day. Just as things are clear in the day, it's clear in the night. All aspects of Islam are crystal clear. La yazigu anha illa halik. And whoever deviates from that clarity is destroyed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us very clearly in the Quran, Ya ayuhal ladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Oh, you believe. Fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you in order that you develop taqwa. 